Before the video starts, I do want to say confirm spoilers ahead, and if you want to be surprised as to which character is returning, maybe check out another video. So we finally have some new Rogue One news, and the news itself isn't hugely significant or world changing, but what it could potentially mean is really interesting. To begin, we should go back a ways. After the sizzle reel for Rogue One, many fans skimmed through every second of the footage for anything that could potentially reveal something important. And to everyone involved in Rogue One's shock, they actually ended up spotting something. Some fans claimed that they spotted Bail Organa, Senator of Alderaan, and Father Talea Organa in the footage. If you go back and look, you can actually see what people are talking about, and although it only appears for a brief moment before going out of focus and his face is already partially covered by the camera, there is something. If you go back and look and pause it exactly at 1 minute and 4 seconds, you do see what people were discussing. So yesterday, the actor who played Bail Organa, Jimmy Smits, in an interview after being pressed, did in fact reveal he was in the film. From what we saw from the sizzle reel, we can tell it is a scene involving Mon Mothma, which is really cool, and it may in fact be this scene that sets up Leia coming into possession of the plans, which was the opening moments of A New Hope. At this point, it is unclear if we will see Leia, but since the film takes place potentially just hours before the events of the first film, it is not impossible that we will, although I would say it is unlikely. So that is the big news, but what this means for the series is what I find to be far more intriguing. There have been many rumors about Hayden Christensen, the actor who played Anakin in the prequels, potentially returning, but all have thus far been shot down. Ewan McGregor also had a small voiceover part as Obi-Wan in Rey's Force Vision, but Jimmy Smith's returning to portray Bail Organa is actually a cool sign that Disney may employ other prequel era actors to return later on. As someone who finds great enjoyment in sections of the prequels, this is quite exciting, as I would love to see other prequel characters return, and with Saw Gerrera, a Clone Wars character also involved in in Rogue One, this is turning out quite nicely for people with similar viewpoints. For The Force Awakens, through various cast and crew interviews, people came out and explained that they had been asked to have little to no prequel holdovers in the film, and now that seems to have changed, even slightly for me, is really cool. Now of course, it all is in large part due to when the films are set. Nonetheless, for me at least, it is a good sign as I fully accept the prequels as a part of my Star Wars package and universe, and I'm glad to see Bail Organa return. Of course, Bail Organa was mentioned in the original trilogy, but never actually appeared until the prequel trilogy. As a side note, this is actually the last time we will likely see Bail Organa, as he was killed on Alderaan courtesy of Grand Moff Tarkin and the Death Star in A New Hope, so it will be nice to see him since, as stated earlier, Rogue One takes place potentially minutes away from A New Hope. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this. Do you like that they're bringing prequel characters and actors back, or do you just not accept that at all as part of your universe? Now that Bail Organa is returning, what other prequel character do you want to see pop up next, whether it's Anakin or Obi-Wan or really anyone that you guys would like to see? If you have any other lore topics or questions you would like answered, feel free to tweet me anytime at StupendousWave on Twitter, or leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer, or make a full video dedicated to your topic. Thanks so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.